Well, hello and welcome to this episode of the Monday Minute. My name is Ken Freeman. Today, uh, I want to talk to you about the NARAL campaign that says that we need to include in the Obamacare a no-cost birth control option. Now, what is no-cost birth control and what will it mean? It means taxpayers are going to pay for birth control that's going to lead to more abortions. Let's find out more about this in today's Monday Minute. They claim that the new health care system, Obamacare, holds the promise of no-cost birth control for millions of women. They say this change could make a positive difference in women's lives for generations to come. Now, you and I know that that means more population control, more abortion. Why? Because it's a fact that when you hand out birth control, according to Planned Parenthood's own stats, say that 78% are converted to an abortion because of the failure of that pill within the first year of prescription. Now, number two, they say that BC for Me is a public education and mobilization campaign that seeks to secure no-cost birth control in the new health care system. Well, what does it really mean when they say no-cost birth control? Well, of course, they say it means no-cost means that women could get their prescriptions for birth control filled without a copay. In other words, free, paid for by you and me, the taxpayer. That's what they're talking about in Obamacare, about uh, providing no-cost birth control. Well, the expectation that they have is that insurance companies would have to absorb the cost, just as they do for prevention and wellness benefits such as immunizations. In other words, pass all of the cost on to the rest of us who are the paying customers. Well, they say that it helps women. They say it improves women's access to birth control, being one of the best ways to help prevent unintended pregnancy and thus reduce, quote, the need for abortion. Making no-cost birth control a reality also will help women make, they say, responsible health care decisions. And no-cost birth control is, to them, especially important for women who can't afford prescription contraceptions or a deductible. Now, of course, I say just the opposite. I say that birth control that's a no-cost birth control actually harms or hurts women. Improving women's access to birth control is one of the best ways to increase unintended pregnancy and thus increase the need for abortion. Making no-cost birth control a reality will help women make more immoral and irresponsible health care decisions, and no-cost birth control is especially important to them for women who cannot afford uh, annual prescriptions and contraception or a deductible or children which, by the way, means the low income. That means the black and the Hispanic. Now, they say, isn't birth control easy to get? So why do we need no-cost birth control? Well, they say 98% of women will use contraception at some point in their lives, but there's still 22 states that don't require insurance companies to cover birth control. They want to end this discrimination by making no-cost birth control part of the preventative services covered in the new health care system. So what can you do? Our federal government officials in Washington, D.C. and many medical experts are deciding whether no-cost birth control will be part of the new health care system. Raising your voice against this no-cost birth control is the best way to help women. Instead of using their content and their subject line, insert a pro-life statement based on pro-life talking points that you can download from facebook.com slash stop the war on life and click on our page and you can get the download to the talking points. Now until next week, keep up the good work you're doing. You are making a difference and the other side just can't stand it. Thank you for listening to this Monday Minute.